Mr. Tilly here. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, topographic maps. I've got 7th Hour Earth Science with me. Say hi, 7th Hour. Hi! Topographic maps are important and useful to the Earth scientists because they depict a three-dimensional Earth on a two-dimensional piece of paper. They accomplish this by using a contour line. Before we get too far into that, we need to define a few things. I would suggest hitting pause here and writing down the following terms so you're ready to define them as we go along. Here are your terms. Okay, you're looking at a cutout of a section of a topographic map similar to a map we'll be examining in class. Notice the many brown lines found on the map. Should we outline a couple of them? Let's outline a couple of them. Here's a brown line. Here's a brown line. Those lines are called contour lines and they connect points of equal elevation. Select a line right now on your screen and trace that line. As you trace that line, you're neither walking uphill nor downhill. You are traveling horizontally at a constant elevation in the landscape. If, however, you turn 90 degrees and you walk perpendicular, crossing those contour lines, you are then walking either uphill or downhill, depending on the situation specific to that particular landscape. Notice that every fifth line is bolded darker brown and also marked with an elevation. Here's an example of a line that is bolded and marked with an elevation of 6,800 feet. That is called an index contour and that provides a frame of reference for your your map. The elevation between the lines is always consistent. That's called the contour interval. Um, and that can change on uh, any particular map from 5 feet all the way up to 200 feet, depending on the specifics of that landscape. Okay, so at this point, we have topographic map defined, contour line, index contour, and the contour interval. Let's take a look at one of these and see how they actually work. Here's an example, everybody. Notice a basic hill and how the contour lines relate to it. So here we have a slope. You start down here, and you're going uphill towards some peak. On the map, the contour lines represent that in a similar way. Here's the X heading uphill toward the top of the peak. In this case, uh, the index contours are labeled pretty round numbers, 100, 200, 300. If you count the number of lines between the index contours. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do a little math. 100 to 200 feet is 100 feet. 10 lines in between. You know the contour interval is 10 feet. Another example, in this case we have a shaded relief map and a topographic map that goes with it. Notice this river that goes right down the center, empties into this bay, the river is represented here, empties into the bay. Notice the uh, steepness of this hill, represented by many close contour lines, especially in this region. Uh, notice the gradual hill moving up, gradual hill moving up, and the contour lines that are fairly evenly spaced. Okay, so let's take a moment here and uh, move over to the flip camera introduce you to a couple of the students from 7th Hour and see if we can make one of these topographic maps. Okay, everybody, we're going to make a uh, topographic map here just quickly, just a quick example. We've got 7th Hour Earth Science. This is 2012. Hi, everybody. And we have Brett and uh, Sir Callington. So, today, the demonstration table is going to serve as a landscape. Coming out from the demonstration table, we have a mountain or a hill. In this case, we're going to use a contour interval, Cal, of two inches, and Brett's going to apply tape around this particular hypothetical landscape at this time at two inches. Our first contour line, as long as Brett keeps his finger on that piece of tape, he will be consistently two inches above the landscape. That is our first contour line. Contour lines connect points of equal elevation. Okay, let's go for four. You can go two inches from there. Our contour interval or the elevation between each line is about two inches.
Our hypothetical hill and or mountain today is a porphyritic rhyolite with a quartz phenocrest brought down by the glaciers from Canada and deposited somewhere around Verona. Next contour line will be the 6 inch contour line. Notice we're using a consistent contour interval. And then the last contour line in this case, we get to the top of our hill when we get to 8, eight inches above the tabletop. Just a little round one. If we take a look at our contour lines, I'm going to straighten the uh, hill out again. So we have these uh, concentric circles represented by our tape, each divided by two inches uh, above a flat landscape. So let's take that now and let's translate that into a uh, two-dimensional piece of paper. Please introduce yourself, young man. I'm Shahan. Shahan is now going to be the cameraman. All right, so if we take a look at this, the contour lines we have look something like this. Well, hello. <laughs> right? We have our piece of tape. That's our two-inch contour. Close together on one end, kind of fanning out on the other. That's our four-inch. Here's our six-inch. And at the top was our eight-inch. So, this flat landscape, hill coming out, represented by our contour lines, translates into that. In real life, what you have to imagine is this rock, or this hill, sticking out from the two-dimensional board. Is that what you see? And that, my friends, will save me a trip to the gym. Science! <laughs> Everybody, that's the contour map. All right.